Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I filmed, and today we're going to film something, review something about our, the new um, ordinary concealer and like some of their foundations. I've, to be honest, I really enjoy the ordinary's product, but I haven't bought a lot of them since. Sometimes you have to get online to buy some of the things. And you want to try it out in the store, but they don't let you try to test that out. And for some reason, I haven't watched a lot of like makeup films or like beauty channel films, so or YouTube, beauty channel YouTube. So I just bought it blindly, and I don't really know. It doesn't match me. So today, the shade that I'm going to try is the light medium neutral. Uh, two zero neutral shade. And I've bought the full coverage foundation and the light coverage foundation as well. So from what I've like seen people talk about it's that the 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 foundations are like not really the best or not really the best thing you could ever try, but I don't really know how bad or how good it is so I just want to test this out and obviously because this is like a first uh, first try of the products uh, I, I haven't put on makeup for a long period of time so we will get started so I have some sunscreen on so I'm a bit shinier than normal that's not how usually what I look like with um, without anything on my skin but I guess you can live without I guess I can live with some extra shine but to prep my skin I'll be using the e.l.f. primer to prep the skin so I would take a bit of like take a bit using my fingers obviously uh, my fingers are clean. You should wash your hand prior to put any makeup on. Like fingers might not be the best application for during this kind of like situation, but um, sometimes you need to warm up the kind of like the product before you put on some of the things on your skin, so that it melts into the skin instead of like you hard rubbing it into the skin. So, to put it on the skin, I will be trying the full coverage um, foundation along with the full coverage concealer. So, this is not my first time to see the product using a pump. I like a pump. But sometimes, um, they just come with like the Peppy. Yep, the Peppy. I don't really like that. So, um, so it's good that they come with a pump. I think the bottle is plastic, which is great. Sometimes glass are easy to shatter, or it's just heavier in general. So give it a good shake. Let's see what they say. So shake it before you use it, and then put it onto your back with your hand, and then just mix it easily. Just mix it evenly. Push it out evenly from the center of the face to outside of the perimeter of the face just mumbling so for one half of my face I'll be using those like CC cream kind of like the pouch it's a little bit dirty if you can see this but um, I've used it a few times I washed this so um, that's kind of normal normal and the other side of my face so the, for the left side of my face I will be using this kind of like a sponge and for the right side, we're using a brush. So I think I've shaken enough. And I will just pump it out to see the texture. I think it's locked. So it's quite liquidy. It's not really thick. I don't know if it's a good match or not, but. We'll see. So I we I took two pumps out and I will put it on my right side of the face using a brush. It's 
quite spreadable. It's quite easy to put on. And sometimes I feel like these kind of products, you don't know much about that. So it just spreads really quickly over the skin. It has a bit of like that chemical sunscreen smell. It dries down quite quickly, which I kind of like how quickly it dries down. It definitely leaves a bit of like luminosity on the skin. Um, try to pat this on instead of like swiping it on because it's quite like streaky if you do that so kind of like push it into the skin it definitely gives me a little bit of luminosity overall it kind of smooths everything out it does help with like some of the uh, imperfections on my skin which is normal especially the scars here you can see it's quite it covered up quite nicely I think one pump is more than enough so I'll be using two pumps as well for my other side of the skin using this I think using this kind of like a puff sponge, they definitely it definitely gives you a bit smoother of like a finish. Like I think also because of like how concentrated kind of like coverage is, you can see like there's a slight difference between the brush side and the puff side of the skin. The side using the puff is slightly lighter due to I think like the colorants are like, it's mm, how do I say it's kind of like a bit more concentrated because like you can see this side is slightly lighter than this side also I'm using just the same amount of products I think it's because um, it absorbed a bit of the water liquid so that it leaves a bit more coverage on the skin. Also you're pushing it more to the skin instead of like spreading it over the skin. I would say I definitely see a bit of like color difference. But um, that's all right. I think nothing too like drastic. But you can, I can definitely feel the difference of like a kind of like a very different kind of color on the skin. Like I can still see on the camera as well. Well, I guess this is this is quite common when I use like brush versus like sponge, like. It definitely reacts differently from for a sponge on the skin and a brush on the skin. So now I will be using the concealer, the ordinary concealer, using the shade, the same shade, um, to give my under eyes a bit of a boost. Even though I don't think I really need it, so let's read the instruction as well so it didn't say you need to shake it but I guess I'll give it a little bit of a shake
I don't know how to expect texture, but it it definitely feels like the it cosmetics um bye bye CC under eye coverage cream like that kind of texture, but it looks a bit lighter. I will be using the It Cosmetics uh, Heavenly Luxe Super Flawless Foundation Brush for my under eyes and slightly highlight my forehead and my center of my face. It's definitely... Uh, okay, you can see this is the foundation side, this is the concealer. It's definitely way lighter than <laughs> the foundation. So definitely very concentrated. Um, uh, uh, I would say use it with caution. <laughs> Jesus. Honestly, the texture is really nice, but it's just a bit too, like on the screen, it's like, oh, maybe I should like tone down the light, but you can see it's a, it's, it's really highlighting my face, and a little goes a long way. Like I've like slightly dimmed down because it's overexposing like the highlight of my face which it shouldn't be doing but um, I guess that's what <laughs> iPhones are for I don't feel really shiny using this foundation or this um, it's really working really nicely I guess I love it. I love when products work. Oh my gosh. And it's not really super expensive. I think um, I only spent around $20 for three products. So if you do the math, it's like not really a lot. So the next step I'll be doing is I'll be using the um, powder to set my face I'll be using the Laura Mercier um, face powder to set my face I will use the puff as well <laughs> not the same puff this is the powder puff to just stamp powder to my face to set it It definitely sets nicely on the skin. It doesn't like get stuck with powder. It doesn't lift off when you apply powder on it. Definitely really smooth looking. Really pretty, really velvety with the powder itself. I think it's kind of like a velvety finish but it's more luminous because like, I'm a bit more glistened because of the sunscreen. And um, I think the Overall, if you have a dry skin, this will look a bit more matte on your skin if you are like me, a bit oily in the T-zone, a bit dry on the perimeters of the face, definitely you will see a bit more matte kind of a finish. Which, I don't mind, summer is coming again, which, um, you do... Which I think you do need a bit more coverage on your skin, a bit more powder on your skin, just to prevent like extra oil, extra like extra oil from seeping over your makeup and ruining your makeup. Well, I guess the next step will be putting uh, some blush, bronzer, and highlight on the skin. I'll be using the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Um, why I use this palette all the time, um, well, the, the only reason that I use this, like, over and over is because this is literally the palette that you can use 
where like you, you get everything. You get a bronzer, blush, and highlight. So you don't need five like things to like bronze up your face to give color to your face. So I'll be bronzing up my face using Sunny Honey. It's really smooth on the skin. Definitely, um, it's not disturbing the foundation underneath it. And then I will blush up with Pink Wink, knock off the excess using the same brush, just on the high points of the cheeks, to give your face a little bit of like a pink flush. flush. So swirl and then just swirl and just lift up with the pink cheeks and then I will highlight my face using uh, not this one um, I will highlight my face using this brush this brush is a gift from um, Mecca Cosmetics. It's a highlight brush. I'll be using satin sheet to highlight the high points of the cheeks. A close look. Um, the highlight doesn't accentuate the texture under my underneath. It definitely it doesn't exaggerate any texture, which is perfect. Some like highlighters and foundation combination, they just exaggerate how bad your texture are, and that's not a good thing to see. And I just think if you are using like a foundation or something, that it shouldn't do that. Like you should smooth up your skin, without a doubt. So the next step is I'll be using this concealer to give myself a bit of eye base. Just a tiny bit will do because we just see how we just saw how concentrate it is. I'll be using a it cosmetics brush to sort of like create the base. I know this is not an eyeshadow base, but uh, I think it can, like sometimes you can use a foundation uh, or a concealer just as a base. It would do just as well as like some like eyeshadow base, but let's be real, I don't want to use extra product. I just want to use like, even though like a lot of the like, eyeshadow primers, they're really great. Sometimes you just want to be a little bit lazy in terms of like how much product you use. So I'll be using the Too Faced um, Cocktail Party Eyeshadow Palette to test out the um, eye base. I didn't set this so we will see how much more vibrant or how much less vibrant it is on the eyes.
I just finished my look. Okay, I use Mocktail as like a base color for the overall eye look. So you see that like a bit orange all over my lid. And then I'll use a crease shade BYOB, the dark brown shade. And then I use Dirty Martini as my like highlighting lid shade. And then for under my eyes, I use Shades Lid. Overall, it performed pretty well on my eyes. Uh, one nitpick point is that after, I don't think it's a nitpicking point, but rather it's just uh, after I use like the color on this, use like a matte color all over my lids, and then you know that it will kind of like absorb every like drip of like liquid on your skin. So it's like kind of didn't blend well with the like highlight shape, but once I put a bit more concealer on the place where I want to cut my crease, it definitely makes the color a little bit more pop, and that is and it's really easy to blend using like the concealer as well. A lot of like negativity about like the foundation itself, but I don't find that to be like is the case for me. I don't think it's really matte. Or it doesn't have any coverage, but overall, I think it feels pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. It has quite a bit of coverage. One thing, I'm not sponsored. I'm just filming using my iPhone because I couldn't make do of my camera to film it. So, well, that's not your concern. That's my concern. Well, overall, um, I feel like testing this full coverage foundation um i have a lot of doubt coming in because i've heard like some bad reviews people having a negativity thoughts about the uh, coverage foundation but it, it's all legit that people can have like different thoughts different experience or uh, with like the same product it's one product isn't universally good on everyone everybody's skin well you know that sometimes some people will uh, brag about that product being like the best product but then the other person say that it's not good everyone experience differently it reacts to skin differently it's a bit more subjective than for say what's the ingredient inside it's objectively it should objectively have those kinds of ingredients in the bottle but then it's when you put on the skin, different preparation, different skin types, maybe you have allergy or you get clogged with that combination, people will have different results on their skin. So for me, it's a quite a positive experience using this uh, coverage foundation. I will try out the light coverage one really soon and see how does it compare to um, the which one. Makeup Forever is like HD foundation because it that's really liquidy as well as it doesn't have tons of coverage but it does cover some of the imperfections on the skin and I do really want to test this out to see it for myself. For the concealer, it's really impressive for what it is. For the price, for the amount that you get, um, you get eight mils, which is I think typical of like how foundations like they are like mostly half of what you get or this is not even half this is like um, one fourth yeah one for one four for what you get this is quite high in coverage and I think if you want to like conceal your under eyes you should get like a shade or two darker than this because uh, for the same range, same color, it's a bit light on the under eyes. Let me see. It's definitely highlighting my like cheekbones, my forehead, and I think that it's really nice with the coverage that you get. And I do like that it's in a squeezy tube so that it's like you can have a bit more control over how much you need, how much you don't need. Also, uh, it's more hygienic. I've been waiting for this to launch like since they announced that they will be going to launch this last year I think if you watch like a video about I think it was like Let Muffin Beauty's like video that talks about 
upcoming launches and then they say they're going to launch this really soon and then it took them a year I think mostly because of I don't really know but one could imagine the logistic of like how do you deliver this uh, how maybe there's like an ingredient shortage everything could happen in uh, like in the production line that you couldn't produce enough to you couldn't produce enough you couldn't produce enough to make it into the mass market I really don't know but since it's this finally launched I think it's really great I love it for now we'll see how I feel after I use it a few more times that's it for the video Hope you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.